What is going on, everybody? Welcome to day one of, I don't even know what I'm gonna call this, the hunt for a 20-inch brown trout. That's what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna be traveling the state of Pennsylvania looking for a 20-inch brown. My whole life, I've been a numbers guy as far as catching fish, and this trip, I want to change that. I wanna to try to catch one big fish. So we're gonna be using bigger, bigger lures, fly fishing, we're, we're gonna be pulling out all the stops trying to catch this 20 inch brown trout. We're gonna be fishing Penn's Creek, Fishing Creek, maybe Spring Creek, Little Juniata, and possibly the Frankstown branch of the Juniata. We're, I just gassed up. We're gonna head up to uh, Penn's Creek. I might sleep there tonight, I don't know. I gotta get a feel for the area, see if I can possibly sleep in the back of the truck tonight. So, all right, let's get this two and a half hour drive out of the way. Well guys, we just made it to the creek. I parked at the Mid-State Trail. Oh wow, this is muddy. And uh, trying to make, make my way down to the creek. It's like super crystal clear, that's awesome. Whew. So, uh, that's what I have to go down right now. It might be hard for you guys to understand, but it's steep, so, whew. All right, I'm gonna get down to the water and uh, I'll go over what I'm gonna throw and whatnot. Just made it down to the creek. Look at how beautiful this is. Unbelievable. So, I'm gonna start out with uh, a Meps Agula, Agula, I don't know. Number three is the size. So I'm trying to use a bigger spinner, try to target the bigger fish and uh, I'm gonna try to fly fish. The wind's a little iffy, but we'll see if we can make it work. So let's uh, let's get our line wet, guys. Let's make this happen. No idea what what to expect out of this area. Never fished here. Just want to try to catch something big. Ooh, that was a fish. Damn. All right, first bite of the trip. All right, well, it felt good to get the first fish, or at least a bite. Ooh, damn, guys. Just had another, what looked like either, I kind of think that was a small mouth. Damn. I'm assuming there's smallmouth in this creek, river, whatever you want to call this. It's Penn's Creek, so we're going to call it a creek. I assume that there's smallmouth in here. Uh, I didn't want to do this, but I think I'm going to make the change already. And put on the old uh, black and yellow Panther Martin. A little bit smaller. I got quite a bit of bites in here, so I'd like to make the change. So, as I was peeing, um, there's a bunch of little trout down here surfacing. And uh, I'm gonna see if I, I don't know if this is the right fly or not, but that seems to be kind of like what's flying around. There's tan ones and black ones flying around. I don't really know exactly what they are. I think the white ones are sulfurs though. So I'm gonna see if I can catch one on top. Oh, I thought that was recorded. It was. Did you guys see that? Yeah. We're figuring it out, baby. 
The fish came up and smacked it. All right. I'm gonna put the fly rod down for a little bit. Ooh, definitely think uh, making some progress with this fly fishing. For sure. I mean, we had one on. Had one hit us on the top, which was awesome. Oh, there's a fish. There we go. Definitely not our 20 incher. Nice fish though, wow. All right. Beauty. Oh, there he goes. All right. Just like that. Back on the board with the spinning rod. Go figure. That's just my luck, I'll tell you what. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> How you doing? You fishing down? I'm just wandering around right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Having any luck? I missed two a while back. Yeah. <laughs> they were uh, they were rising down there at the bottom of the pool, just little ones, but. Huh? Where are you going with that fly rod? I have no idea what I'm doing with the fly rod. I'm just out here trying to learn. So, yeah, I'm trying to be. So, trying to figure it out, learn. You have a on there? I have no idea. I tr just tried to match the size and color. That's, that's what, well, the yellow ones are in our salt. Okay, that's what I figured. Yep. Yeah, that's what I, you know, just trying to figure it out as I go for the most part, but. Got him. Yes. Oh. We got him, boys. It ain't a big one. Actually, it might be the biggest one of the night. Oh, my God. Come on. Stay on. Stay on. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Come on. Get the net. Oh, he's coming right for me. Come on. Oh, I got him. Oh my god. The first trout oh, ever on a fly. And it was a dry fly. And he might have inhaled it. Alright. Alright. Now we're in it. Now my fly is soaking wet. Oh, he broke me off. Oh, no. God damn. 
Oh, no. oh God. I gotta try to get back to the bag. All the flies in it. Damn. This is a lot of fun fly fishing. I don't understand why so many people do it now. Alright. Let's try to get another one before it gets too dark to film. And I gotta make it back to the truck and ugh. Alright, so there's some up above this uh looks like a log rising. I'm gonna try to sneak my way up there. It's about damn near possible. Oh, golly, these rocks are slick. I cannot get this thing up there. Got him. Got him. Whew. He ate it under the water. Whew, yeah. All right, come here. Still not our 20 incher. Another really healthy fish. Oh. The guys are just keep getting better. Oh my, another one, he inhaled it. Oop, there goes my rod, I guess that's okay. Okay, fly is out. He's not 20 inches, this yellow tape. He's 12, solid, solid fish. Well, that's going to be the end of our night, guys. I just lost my leader, my fly. I don't even know what the heck happened. Just ripped, I guess. I don't know. Damn. Uh, I, don't need, I don't have internet on my phone or anything to even check, like, how do I fix this? Like, can I just... I don't know. I don't even know how to fix it. So, I guess I'm gonna have to stop at a fly shop tomorrow somehow. I don't think TCO opens till like nine o'clock. And I wanted to be back up here by six. Just starting to get the hang of it. Oh, that sucks, guys. But I still have the spinning rod. I'm going to throw this around for a little bit. Hey, we'll catch some more. I mean, there's just trout everywhere in this creek. Well, guys, I just got back to the truck. It is 9 o'clock at night, and I have an hour and 40-minute drive ahead of me. I think. I got a... Address... The route is being calculated. Let's see. 84 miles. Oh, God. Yes. I gotta Please drive proceed miles. to the highlighted route. Two hours and 20 minutes. What the hell? Well, when I get service, I'm gonna figure out uh, just where exactly I need to go. So, got a long drive ahead of me. And we're going to come back up here tomorrow. 
I wanted to sleep in the back, but yeah, there's way too many people here to be doing that, so. All right, I'll see you guys at the cabin. Well, boys, another two hour car ride in the books. Oh, I am beat. I am so tired. So I'm gonna change up the plans uh, for tomorrow, which would be the next video. Instead of running all the way back up to Penn's, I mean, I'd have to get up at like 3.30 to get there at light. I would get like four hours of sleep. I'm gonna fish the Little Juniata. And then th Friday, which would be two days from now, a day from now. Not tomorrow's Thursday. Friday, I'm going to make the run up to Penn's and maybe Fishing Creek. And uh, I think Saturday morning, I'm just going to fish for a couple hours on the Frankstown branch of the little... The Frankstown branch of the Juniata? I think that's what it's called. So that's the plan. Um, it's just so much driving. It would have been a lot easier if I could have slept in the truck, but... That place was a little sketchy. A lot of people, too. So, I didn't want anybody messing with me or anything. So, I am going to finally eat dinner at 11.30. And... I'm going to go to sleep. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad I could share my first ever fly catch. Trout catch with a fly. That's I think that's that sounds better. I'm so glad I got to share that with you guys, especially like a dry fly. I wasn't expecting a dry fly to be <laughs> the first one. I actually felt like I knew what I was doing. So maybe tomorrow around lunch, I'll try to run up to a fly shop, try to get that loop fixed. Um, I have no internet here either, so I can't check that. So until then, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Peace.